school. DJ Tony G. What's up, y'all? DJ Tony G, TurntableU.com, the world's premier online DJ school. We're going to show you a different class today. We're going to revamp a song, revamp an intro, revamp an edit, so you could use it custom, make your own way, be your own unique DJ. So what I did was, I went over to ExclusiveGrooves.com, I downloaded Light Up The Night by Black Eyed Peas, and you know, everybody has uh, their versions, but... Hot song, but you never know if you're gonna be at the club or you're gonna walk up to the club and a guy has that version already, or other DJs have been playing that same version from that website, or from other sites. You're gonna grab this song, you're gonna have your Ableton open, you're gonna drag this song over, I'm going to put it in the first audio track. When you put it in, it's going to analyze and it's going to warp all the songs. Once you put it in there, go ahead and close up uh, iTunes because we're cool with it. Let's try to make this as big as we can, the screen right here so I can see a little better. So I can't see and then you guys might have bigger screens. You can plug in an extended, uh, an external monitor to the side of any of your laptops and use that so you can see Ableton a little bit bigger if you need, you know, the visual on it. You can split the screens or whatever. So, we come here to the song itself. I'm going to double click on the scene that it created because it, it created an audio scene for that song. I'm going to open it up, make sure that it's locked on one. Make sure that first transient is sitting right there, that warp marker. Let's click and I'm going to hit it. Sounds right. Let me hit the... Hit the metronome. It's the metronome right here. Okay, so we're on time. So this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna revamp this song. We're gonna we're gonna take this intro version because it's an intro already. And you know sometimes intros are boring. They do the same thing. It's just the eight bars of the same old loop. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna say I'm gonna grab this song. I'm gonna come here and I'm gonna set up a loop section. I'm gonna drag from that first beat right over here. Let's play that real quick. Let me see what we have. So we have one whole bar right there. So what I'm going to do is control, click. I'm going to tell it to loop selection. So we know we have that selection looped right now. Now it's tight because we can move this actual loop bar in all different positions, which I'm going to show you in a second what it's useful for. Okay? So we're going to go back to the top, double check. Now that we have that, that bar loop, we're going to control click. I'm going to tell it right here it says, look up because I can't see, slice to new MIDI track. Okay? Once that opens up, on a tempo of about 125, 128, 130s, I like to use the quarter notes because they're a little sharper. And it's dope because the built in sampler is going to slice it up for you. The program itself is going to slice it up. So I hit OK. And what it did now, it created a whole MIDI track of that slice so we can actually play it. It's going to play along with the other one, though, so you hear it phasing, so you have a lock of the loop with the original. So now what I do to work is I mute our original, which we're going to come back to, our original song, and I'm going to play that loop. Cool. So let's try this. Let's open up a brand new scene right here. Let me do that one more time so you guys can see it real cool. On any of these squares, these are the scenes. I'm going to open up a scene, okay? And the scene's already set up for one bar. Okay? I'm going to make this scene four bars, right here where the bar length is at. All right? Because I want to work with a four-bar scene. Once we sliced it, Ableton already put it in record for us. So let's see if we can hear what we have here. Pretty dope, the way he sliced it up for you. So let's see what we have here. Let's see if we can create something different. Let's just go here. So first thing you're going to do is turn on your metronome. Okay. Count in. There's your count in. Start with a note. So you hear that? It's a little bit of an idea. So I'm going to add a little bit to it. Let me see what I can do.
turn off this metronome real quick so I can hear the raw sound. Cool. Let's let's search. Oh, we found like a little hi hat feel. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna turn off the overdub because I want to play along with it now. Okay, I like that. I'm feeling that. Put overdub back on. Okay, now I'm not liking that extra little double beat. So let's see where it's at. I soloed the kick. If you hit that, you see that red light turning on? I soloed that kick track real quick. I'm just hitting it with the key so we could hear it. Okay, I'm not feeling that one. Let's get to that note that you see right there. I'm gonna delete it. Okay, I'm gonna leave that extra double kick on that, on that latter half of the bar. So now we got like a little intro, a little beat going. I'm liking that. So now I'm gonna show you something. This snare that we used right here, I think I wanna add some more stuff to it because right now a lot of people are using buildups and transitions. So using the command, command button, you could hit number two, number one, and you could see that graph open and close. See that graph opening and closing, which is going to give us more options, more notes within that.